Hey, good morning. It's Thursday, August 15th, 2024. Yeah, a shower head just, um, today's super busy. Uh, a lot of stuff's going on. So this is direct upload. And like I said, I try to keep on schedule. Uh, remember I am a clairvoyant, clairaudient psychic. So everything is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, Please check the box below with the discla full disclaimer. It also has the links for buy me a coffee cream soda, the PayPal tip jar, the email, if you would like to schedule a private reading. I do still have some open dates for the last part of August, and uh, it's I'll figure out the time. If we'll make it work, if depending on everybody's schedule. Uh, people are asking me about the apartment, and, well, I'm waiting to hear back. And um, it's Mercury retrograde, so things move slower. Things seem to, uh, weird, weird shit happens on retrograde, so I'm just dealing with it. And plus, we've got a blue moon this weekend on the 19th. Yeah, let me, where's my calendar? Here it is. Yeah, the blue moon is on the 19th, so a lot of s stuff is happening like this week and next week. It's like the week, seven days bordering on the blue moon. So hopefully everything will fall into place. But um, I just throw it up into the heavens above and have blind faith. Everything will be taken care of, and I will be where I'm supposed to be. Now, <clears throat> yeah, it's what, 5.30, right now it's 5.39 in the morning, so, yes, I do get up super early, I, with, living with RSD is not fun, it's like, when your body says you're done for the day, you literally go to sleep, and if it means, okay, I'm rested, and you wake up at, between 1 and 3 a.m., you start your day. Uh, so, yes, I have to be out of the house for stuff. Um, I, yeah, physical therapy on the foot, recovering from the surgery in March. And then because the RSD, yeah, I have to go see. I have a lot of medical appointments. So let's, and that one, they moved it to three o'clock. So I wouldn't be back here in time for a 430 anything. So I figure, okay, direct upload. Now, um. Everybody is kind of going up in arms about um, Becky and Rodden going down to Columbia. And um, Royal Grift, she mentioned something in hers, in her um, video saying you're getting played. And I kind of picked up something on it. I got the message that it's like, okay. Before Henry hooked up with Rachel, he was in training to do what Philip and Andrew were, okay? But, so he thinks he's entitled to all this stuff. But the minute he hooked up with her, all his training for the green building stuff stopped. Because they knew, because when they found out he was hooking up with her, all her background was dredged up. And, yeah, the three-letter agencies from both North America, South America, Europe, and the UK, they compiled one giant file on her. So, yeah, Andrew and... Uh, Chuck and uh, QE2 knew everything, know everything about her. But they realized that Henry is can be a really a loose cannon. What they saw in his, during his behavior when he was deployed to Afghanistan. And we know that every but there's other people who can who have stories from when he was allegedly there. 
my gut feeling says he was flown in, showed his face for a little bit, and then he was flown out and kept in seclusion on another, somewhere where he wouldn't be uh, in a combat zone. But, uh, <clears throat> but now that he's hooked up with Rachel, there's stuff going on with her. I think she tried to play her, she played her stuff. Yeah, she was probably in, she got tangled up with the boys, the boat boys and the Miami guy. And they're kind of like the underworld. And yeah, and the film business is kind of, if you don't take care of yourself, <clears throat> look out for yourself. There's a lot of sketchy shit that happens. Well, I think she fell for a few lines and got, she got played and now she's in so deep, she can't get herself out. And uh, she was told to go after him. So this is what I keep getting. She got, she, she went and tried to play the game with the not so nice people. She's in so far deep that she's just taking orders now. And um, yeah, it's like the big stink right now is that guy, Josh, Josh Kettler. He was hired to be chief of staff. Well, start looking at the timelines of all the employees. They never really make it past the 90 day mark. Because here in the United States, if someone is a full-time employee, after 90 days, the, comp the people they're working for are supposed to supply complete health care packages and a pension plan and um, some other things. So nobody makes it past that 90-day mark because they can't afford to pay for the required state benefits. A lot of it is due to the Obamacare bullshit, okay? So that's why nobody lasts past 90 days. Three months, because sometimes it's, um, sometimes they classify it as 90 business days. So that's why no one makes it past that, that marker. And I think this guy also found some major discrepancies when he was going through files. So he's he's on an NDA, but they may, may have a time frame. And the fact that they're now going down to Central America, to a country that's known for some not so nice stuff. Remember there's Dorito, and allegedly she was um, selling some kind of stuff she was, uh, people have all sorts of stories that she was a sales girl for something. Well, maybe some of the stuff that allegedly, remember, everything is entertainment purposes only, and this is my spidey sense kicking in. Possibly Dorito was, the one thing that people don't like on set is people who, are doing stuff, you know, because that can cause accidents on set and people not paying attention. And if talent is doing it, it kind of slows down the process. And maybe she was a sales girl for some stuff, some, some stuff, you know? And, um, so she does have connections with her wholesalers. And maybe her wholesalers are down in that area and she kind of didn't pay. I mean, when you buy wholesale product, maybe she didn't pay off her bill for what she got wholesale. And a way to cover her outstanding balance is she said, okay, I'll get my daughter and her husband to come down and pay you a visit. That's what I'm getting. 
because, yeah, Becky, Rachel, she got, she got caught up in the Miami guy shit. She thought she was, she was playing with the one group of guys that could advance her career. Instead, she got tangled up in something else. And, um, her way out was to, or her way to pay off what she owed was to snare Henry. And now they're playing him like a fiddle. I mean, it's kind of like the devil went down to Georgia. I think the only way he's going to get out is if he goes to, cro to a crossroads in the middle of the night. Yeah. Actually, um... What just popped into the brain is, remember that cable TV show, True Blood? And they had that kind of storyline with Tara and her mother going to that voodoo woman? Henry's going to have to go to somebody like that to break the hold that they put on him. So, it might sound whack, but that this is what I'm getting. I, I, I see that entire scene being played out, but with... Henry laying there with the stones that have the natural holes in them. He's going to have to, he's going to have to basically go to a crossroads at midnight, like on a full moon. Yeah. And I'm getting the theme for live and let die. The movie, the wings song, you know, Paul McCartney did it for the Roger Moore and Jane Seymour movie. This is what I'm getting images of right now. So that's what they're tangled up in. And uh, it's going to be, it, and yeah, the three letter agencies already know and they're watching everything that's going down. But yeah, um, that's what I wanted to get out today. And the other thing, please leave your comments Please leave a comment. I'm getting the emails from this platform. They want me to click on getting the membership, getting people to join. Well, <clears throat> I know some people have it. <clears throat> and they do have an enticement. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it could help with the moving costs uh, if I click on to it. And um, what I would do is instead of putting out extra videos, which do take a lot of time, I would, hey, I would set it up with anyone who joins. We would use another, like another platform like Marky Z's, because you know on Messenger we can talk face to face. And um, if you join as a member, I would. If you have an urgent question, you shoot me a message, boom. We'll click on and talk face-to-face -face for a couple, for about 15, 20 minutes to get your questions answered. So if you want to be a member, yeah, it's like I'll be available on um, the FB Messenger for fast questions. Because I think that's a fair deal. It's like you're helping me, I help you. And I guess the membership is like, I'll set it for super low. I know I'm Patreon on a couple, couple sites. I mean, uh, um, what's his face? Real Music Observer, Dave Spuria. Yeah, he, he's, his channel is also politically homeless. So I'm on his and a few others. And so, uh, yeah. So let's see what happens. So I'll, um, when I get back from all the stuff I have to do today, I'll throw something up on the community page to let you know how everything went. So everyone have a good day. It's like almost 6 a.m. here. The outside, I can start to see sunlight coming up. Uh, the sky is, the eastern sky is lightening up. So 
you know, just to cover our asses today, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kavod Malkudo Le'elam Vayad. Everyone have a great day.